Back to morning break. It's Hispanic Heritage Month. To celebrate and honor the contributions and influence of Hispanic Americans, we're highlighting Hispanic-owned businesses in our area for the next few weeks. Our Michaela Romero went to Latin Chicks, a locally-owned Peruvian restaurant. Take a look. Oh, yeah. At just 18 years old, Mary Githams knew she wanted to live the American dream and own her own business. I arrived here um, to actually Savannah or Hinesville because um, my sister uh, married a military guy. So when I first got here, I came to Fort Stewart. Uh, it was a total shock for me. Uh, it was totally different than Lima, Peru, where we have 11 million uh, habitants there. She eventually settled in and went to college at Armstrong, now part of Georgia Southern, where she met her business partner. And soon after graduating, they got started on creating the Latin restaurant of their dreams. A dream that all began with a personal craving. This started out of uh, my own necessity because I didn't have my own food, so I wanted to solve that problem. I wanted something that I can find in Peru in every corner. And that hunger for both flavor and success intertwined into a restaurant, food truck, bar, and catering business. But we really have like a tour of Latin America in our menu. So we serve um, churrasco, we have incorporated like the Latin bowls, we have these flavors in, the, in um, wraps, um, empanadas of course, because you know, it's something like in every Latin American country you find and then churros as well. Speaking of desserts, she says the journey to get to where she is today wasn't as sweet and it definitely wasn't as easy as pie. People around here they didn't, couldn't believe that we would fry a banana. <laughs> so, um, so when we started 14 years ago, uh, it was a lot of uh, an education um, phase to our customers. But now she feels an overwhelming amount of support from the community. That is the why, right? That is the, the goal, like seeing empty plates, uh, getting, um, you know, somebody complimenting you for the food, like knowing that they're coming back. That is uh, when you know that, you know, you made it. But her dreams don't stop here. I have many dreams. <laughs> so one of the things that I, would love to do is expand our um, well meant to be mojito bar and bites uh, and let chicks into another city. She says she hopes that with one bite and sip at a time people learn a little bit more about her culture. I'm proud of uh, those um, flavors, I'm proud of the colors, I'm proud of the language that we share. Um, yeah so many things to be proud of uh, and I'm mainly thankful. In Savannah, Michaela Romero, WTOC.